This morning in Wuhan, the world's widest search for the coronavirus. Officials attempting to test everyone, all 11 million people in every neighborhood. The Chinese city hardest hit by the virus that remains at the center of allegations. That the virus causing COVID-19 didn't come from a market here, but a lab known to be doing coronavirus research. And for the first time, the director of the Wuhan Institute of Virology told state media that the lab has three live strains of bat coronavirus on site, but that none of them match the one sweeping dozens of countries. This is pure fabrication, she says, of claims the virus somehow got out of the lab, adding, quote, like everyone else, we didn't even know the virus existed. How could it have leaked from our lab when we never had it? And a leading researcher, known here as Batwoman, also appeared today on state TV, saying it's regrettable that science and politics are being mixed together when cooperation is needed. For months, theories have swirled about where and how the pandemic started, ramping up a U.S.-China blame game. Even President Trump and Secretary of State Pompeo pointing to the Wuhan lab. They unleashed a virus uh, on the world that's destroyed a, a, a trillions of dollars in, in uh, American economic wealth. Four months after the lockdown of Wuhan, much of the city and the rest of China are showing signs of a return to normal with new facts of life, like thermal imaging at office buildings, disinfecting at factories, and restrictions on travel. And the country's most important political event, the National People's Congress, is underway, having been postponed. With no social distancing, even journalists were tested before going inside. The wide-scale testing here is a sign of how worried the government is about a second wave of infection. More than 100 countries are still urging an independent international investigation here, but China is resisting a probe, saying it can't agree to anything that begins with the presumption that it's guilty.